A few days back I spoke about Kittle's AIX1, which is the first generative AI for graphic design. Now the cool thing about this is, if we scroll down to here, there's also a logo generator. Now this is currently in beta and we can actually use this. So if we come over to here, then come over to the left hand side where it says Kittle AI, we now have that option up here where it says logo generator. If we click on here, we can then use a prompt to create a logo for almost any type of business that we want. And this logo is fully editable and customizable. So let me show you how to use this. Now let's go with the idea of creating a logo for a small cat. Now I have a prompt already created which we're just going to plug in right here. It says create a logo for Cup and Cozy. So that's the name of the business. Featuring a stylized, inviting coffee cup with gentle stream complemented by cozy elements like a scarf-like curve around the cup and a warm color palette of browns, creams and soft reds and oranges. Incorporate the calf's name in a friendly, handwritten or cursive font to convey approachability and add subtle features like a knit pattern or soft shadow for a cozy, welcoming feel. So let's go ahead, let's click Generate Logo. Now, first of all, I just quickly want to say that here in Kittle, they are also giving away unlimited credits until December 31st. So go ahead and take advantage of this. And if you do want to try out Kittle, then there will be a link down in the description below. Disclaimer, it is an affiliate link, so if you do decide to purchase, I will make a small commission. Anyway, let's go ahead and click Generate Logos and see what we get. Now, it's going to take a few seconds for it to do its thing. You can see it's saying Generating Your Logos. We are also going to get a few different options down here. We can choose the one that we like. Now, as we can see, we have a few different options to choose from. If we want to use any of these, we can simply click onto the logo and click replace. Now, if we take a look at these, these look pretty good and everything is fully customizable. Now, we can see it didn't quite give us what we want. I think my prompt was a little bit too much detail. So what we're going to go ahead and do is delete this and I've simplified the prompt just a little bit and now we're going to click generate logo. Now, if we come over to here, we can see if we click on the text, we can actually change this as well to any font that we want. We can also change the colors as well up here. We can change the color for this icon as well. And again, it's just fully customizable. Now, if we take a look over here, we have some new options. Let's click on one of these. This looks really, really good. Cup and Cozy, Warmth in Sips. I really like this. I really like the color combination, the little icon, and everything about it. Now, what we could do is just generate logos again to see what we get. Now, as we can see, these are pretty good as well. If we click on these, I don't like this bit. That doesn't look quite right, but the rest of it looks really good. Now, let's go ahead and try this again with a different one. Now let's say we're going to create a logo for a wedding planner's business. So I've got this prompt just here as well, which says design a logo for blissful beginnings, featuring intertwined wedding rings, forming a subtle heart shape. Now I don't know if this is going to actually create that, but let's give it a go. Use elegant, sophisticated script or calligraphy font for the business name. Now let's click generate logo and see what we get. Now this is extremely fun to play with. If you have Kittle, come through, give it a go. I think you do have to sign up to be a beta tester just here. So come through, put your email in and wait till you get access if you haven't already. Now it couldn't quite get the rings that I wanted, but nonetheless, they look pretty good but I don't quite like them. So let's click generate logo again. 
maybe we could shorten this prompt as well. So let's take the wedding rings, forming a heart shape out. So we just want the intertwined wedding rings. Let's try that. Let's go with generate logo. And there we go. It's starting to get the idea of wedding rings, as we can see. And if we wanted to, we could come in and change everything about this logo. So come through, give it a go and see what you think. Now, if you want more bite-sized Kittle tutorials, click right here and watch this playlist.